So, uh, so my kids have been going to school, to the CISD schools from the very beginning. And I do know that Coppell school system is very strong and they have a lot of initiatives for their kids uh, to make it out in the real world. So um, I wanted to put in my part as well to see how I can improve this. Uh, and it's been very inspiring. I've met some of the other board members um, and decided that I have to be playing a little bit more of an active role. Uh, and that's how I was inspired to do this. I have um, been on other boards before, and I am very active in the community. I have also on the board of the Dallas-Fort Worth Minority Council, and I believe in diversity. Uh, and uh, I believe that, um, especially like I mentioned, with women's uh, empowerment and with kids being given a chance to shine, um, and I think we have wonderful students in Coppell who are very skilled and they try their best and they work very hard. I've seen that in my own kids. And um, I think that's something I would like to make better for uh, every other student. And um, the other um, experiences that I have is I have worked in a very big hospital systems. Uh, in private systems and also worked with technology. So I have worked with people from many different races, cultures, in many different countries. And I think that together brings in a very different experience to be able to be on the board of trustees. I think one of them is we are in a pandemic right now. So of course, that is one of the big um, things on everyone's mind that, you know, how do we, you know, play this? Do we let the kids back into school? At the same time, we want to let the kids back into school safely. Um, and so one of the things I believe in is uh, student protection and of course, healthcare. You know, uh, we have lost a lot of people in this pandemic and uh, of course that is that is very hard. The COVID thing does affect kids. It doesn't affect them to the way it has affected the older population. Uh, but at the same time, every parent wants their kid to be in a safe situation. Um, on the, the medical front, of course, you know, I would say that um, to help with this problem, um, everyone should probably get the best care possible and get the care on time and in time, you know, and uh, kind of take it from there. I would say that Coppell ISD has a lot of schools and they have done a great job at keeping a very well-rounded curriculum. Uh, at the same time, I know that our students from Coppell ISZ are doing wonderful uh, in higher institutions. Uh, and I would like for more of them to do just as well. And I know that a lot of them go to very good universities. They work very hard. But I think Coppell ISD is blessed with, uh, with a group of kids that are already smart and intelligent, and then, they're, and then they're also hardworking. So together, it's an awesome combination. COVID-19 has really affected my campaign in a big way. I initially thought I would do a lot of campaigning and a lot of little groups and talk to people. And all of a sudden, when I wanted to do that, that's when COVID-19 hit. And I believe March 23rd was the day that they said, oh, everything stops. And I was like, oh my gosh, how am I going to do this, right? So what ended up happening is since everything remained closed, the summer went by. Um, and at the same time, you know, we are into another school year right now. Uh, it's, it's a little bit difficult to do a campaign when... Uh, you know, there is a lot of fear around, 
and and at the same time uh, you have to do everything in a closed session so, so i would say it has really affected my campaign and i was very very excited uh, when i signed up to you know run for the school board and i was like all of a sudden there was this big damper it's like this covid thing started so but i'm gonna work my way around this and do my best and hope for the best